Hi, I'm Lance Skoike, and today we're going to talk about pooping. With me today, I have my trusty squatty potty to help show you some of these different positions and why I recommend people get this little tool to help them when they're uh, sitting on the toilet. So first, let's get rid of them. When I sit down on a normal American toilet, I've got a 90 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. Now, this position doesn't allow my pelvic bones to kind of open up at the bottom, and it doesn't allow the pelvic musculature to relax. So it increases the amount of pressure that I have to overcome when eliminating the feces, right? What will this do? So one, it could prevent full elimination by not... It, you see, I don't have a whole lot of pressure around my abdomen, so I have to... And I have to to squeeze there to eliminate what's in there, to push what's in there down and out. Outside of that, I also have to strain, okay? So I might have a lack of elimination and I might have um, symptoms of straining like hemorrhoids or hernias or something. So to avoid hemorrhoids and hernias, let's try that again, there we go. I can set my feet upward, I can elevate my feet so that my pelvic floor musculature can relax and I can eliminate a little bit better. So if this is a normal American toilet, if I elevate my feet up like this, then you'll see my knees are above my hips and I have a little bit more of a squatting position. If I lean forward, I get a little bit more pressure in my lower abdomen and that helps me get my pressure if you in, in my abdomen to help force the things out, right? So if you give this a shot, you'll see that it's much easier to do this. You don't have to strain so hard. I highly recommend you give it a try. It's good for even just encouraging good um, squatting positions, but also teaching you how to regulate pressure internally without just resorting to that breath holding Valsalva uh, straining kind of position.